Hi everyone, welcome to Macrobeam International Learning and Success Center. Today we will make a practice from electronic book, Exercise AutoCAD 2D. You can reach this book from Amazon.com. Also, you can download the shape from the link below. First, we will start with the small wheel. Take circle command, click for the center point. It gives the diameter, so give the radius 10. Enter. To repeat the last command, press space or enter you can use. Click for the center point again, give the new radius 45. Repeat the last command with space tool, click for the center point, give the new radius 60. One more circle, center point is same and the radius is 70. Now we will draw the tooth. So first make a line from center to top. It is our reference line. Take offset command. When you take offset, check the command line. It asks the distance first. The total length is 12. We will use half of it and write 6. Enter. Select the reference line and move your hand right and click. Select the reference line again. Move your hand left and click. Escape to quit from the command. Select the center line and press delete. Also, I want to trim some of this part. So select trim. There is a rule after trim. When you take trim, you must Press space, enter, or right click you can use. Let's right click, make right click with your mouse and click the outside of the circle. Click on the outside of the circle, then click or you can make a selection window to trim. Zoom in with your mouse wheel, turn your mouse wheel and click outside of this circle inside. And I want to erase this part. Also, trim command uh, has erase command. So, select erase from the command line. Select these two lines. And to make it OK, press Enter, space, or you can use right mouse click. Now, we will copy this tooth. Take polar array command. Select these three lines with a selection window or you can select one by one. After selection, to make it OK, right click. Check from the command. It asks the center point. Our center point is here. Click here. Now you have a new menu above and you can write the item number. 24. Enter. One more enter. Then you have tit. Select trim. After trim, right click, use right click. It is a really fast way. Then trim one by one, or you can make selection windows with your mouse. Now you have the wheel. Take line again. Start from here, let's make the second wheel. From center to center, it rise 275, enter. To the up, it rise 35, enter. Now you found the second center of the wheel. Select circle again, click for the center point. The diameter is 30, so we will give the radius 15. Space from the keyboard, space bar you can press. Click for the center point and write the new value. 67.5 enter take circle command with the space key from keyboard click for the center point write the new radius 90 one more circle the other one is 105 now the same before make a line from center to the up now the total length is 18 so we will Take offset and give the distance half of the 18, 9. Select the line to the right, move your hand and click. Select the reference line, move your hand left and click. Now, take trim again and after trim, we use right click. Select the outside of the circle, zoom in like before and trim the outside of the 
circle again and this side you can trim with a selection window also this part now i want to erase the other parts so select erase to make it easy also this one and to make it okay right click take polar array make a selection window after you have selected right click show the center point click for it and write the item number 24 now you can trim inside your teeth and you have the wheels now For the top part, we can start from the center points of the wheel. From front, I want to start. So click for from center point, take line, move your hand up and write 66.14. To the left, 45. To the up, 63.14. To the right, 45 plus 75, 120. And move your hand up, 25, right, 25, enter. To the right, 40 plus 10, I will go inside, so right, 50. To the up, 60. Now, I want to go with 60 degree. We can set the degrees from polar key. If you select 30 degree, it means the multiplier of 30 degrees. You can also see 60, 90, 120, 150. So we need 60. We can use this one. Select 30 degree. Move your hand up. You can see 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree, 120 with the help of polar. With 60 degree, write the length 100. To the right, 200. To the down, check, check it for correctness, 155. Enter to quit from the command. Take offset and give the distance 10. Enter. When you select and move your hand up, click to offset it. If you select one by one, you will see gap. I want to extend these lines and make a corner. Take fillet, then select the first line and select the second line. It's really very helpful comment, but I want to show you one different way. So select the lines and press the late key from the keyboard. Under the modify section, there is join tool. Take join and select the lines that you want to join after the selection to make it ok you can use right mouse click if you select the line it writes polyline that it means you can offset only with one click take offset give the distance 10 enter then select your polyline and move your hand up and click take line again from here to the right, it writes 10. To the down, it writes 63.64. Enter and press one more enter to quit from the comment. Let's make the seat first. From here to the left, it writes 20. To the up, 80 plus 20, 100. To the left, it writes 10. To the down, 80. To the left, 120. To the down, 20. And close with one click to the corner point. Escape or enter to quit from the command. Now we need one more circle. Take circle from the center of the wheel. It writes 120. Now we have the big, big one. So we can trim again. Take trim after trim. Use right mouse click right mouse button then click outside but it 
doesn't intersect. So, undo and look close. There's some some gap. So we can make another line to make trim straight line. Then press enter to quit and take trim again. Right click and trim. Also trim inside the seat. Now you have the other part. Also there is one more circle. In the small wheel, the new reduce is 80. Also, you must offset this line 20 to the up. Take offset, give the distance 20. Select the line, move your hand up and click. Now you are ready for the other parts. Take line again. From the intersection, move your hand right and Give the length 37.54. Enter. To the up, write the new length 60. To the right, 25. To the up, you can give 75. And to the left, write 15. From center, also with 60 degree again, also polar, polar is on, we can use polar. Write the new length 120. We can continue from here, move your hand and write the new, new length 30. To the up 10. To the left you can give 60. And to the down, right 10. And connect. Now we have one reference line. We can offset. So take offset. The total length is 10. We will use the half of it. So write 5. Enter. Then select the line. Move your hand up and click. Select the line. Move your hand down and click. Now we want to extend this line. Under the trim, there is one more command, extend. Take extend and like trim, press enter, space, bar from the keyboard or you can use right mouse button. Right click and click the one you want to extend. Take trim again. Right click to make enter and trim this side. Take trim this time. Don't press enter or space or don't make right click. Select a boundary. This one is my boundary. And the other one is here. After selecting the boundary, now you can make enter. So you can use right mouse button. And if you select, it will trim until it sees the boundary. Also, the other part, if you trim this side, it will trim until the circle. Enter to quit from the command and check your shape. Also, we must trim this one. Trim, enter. Select this part. Now trim this side. Also raise the other, raise the reference lines. Now you have the tractor, but I want to make the center lines as in the shape. So make a new layer. Take layer command, create new layer button, and write the name of the layer. For example, center. Give a color. Then you can change the line type from continuous text. So click on it. To, load the, to see the other line types, click on load button. You can select the first one or the other one, whatever you want. Save.
select this one and select from the this one again from this window okay also you can give line weight from default text give it line weight so let's give a line weight to the zero layer 150 this time i want now we have a center layer close this and take center layer to make it default take line command and make a new line to show the centers also we have this line first select the line and select center layer and press escape from the keyboard now you have the tractor oh one one more thing we need to make the lamp so make a circle to the center point write the radius 15 trim after trim use right click click outside and take move command to move the lamp take move select the lamp after selection to make it ok press enter or you can use right click from this point click and move it to the other point one more click take line and close this part now you made it see you Next lesson. Bye for now.